Thunkable is a tool that lets you build apps even if you've never coded. You can be a complete beginner. And I'm going to show you how to build an app in five minutes. And you can build it for your iPhone or your, or your Android. Okay, you're going to want to go to sign up and sign up for a free account. That's the first thing you're, you're going to do. Um, once you do that, um, you know, you're going to get a screen kind of like this. It's, it's actually just going to say create a new project. And I've already got a bunch of apps, but I'm going to create a new app. And that's where you're going to start from. So I'm just going to click on this create new app. Give it some name. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to create a, an app called Say It, where it's it's real simple. You know, basically there'll be a button, and when you click that button, um, you know some words will be said. We'll use text to speech to to say some words. It's dumb, but it's kind of a nice app to get started because it's extremely simple. So here's the uh, designer, and this is basically where you show how your app is gonna look. There's also the blocks, and that's where you're gonna you're going to code with this block language uh, that Thunkable is based on. Um, so for this simple Say It app, I'm just going to drag on a button onto my screen. And the text by default is button. I'm going to change that. I'm just going to say, you know, Say It, OK? And I'm, you just, I'll just leave the name of the button, button one, OK? The only other kind of component I'm going to add to my app is a text-to-speech component. And I'm going to come over here to the components and kind of scroll through. There's a bunch of them here. Uh, but if I go a little further, I'll find this text-to-speech component. It's in the voice category. Um, it, it's invisible. Like, you're not going to see it in your app. Um, but you, it knows how to do things. And what it knows how to do is, is talk, OK? Um, there's all this, also this preview button. When I click this, I can kind of test a preview of my app. So right now, uh, my app looks like this. It says say it, but of course, when I click it, nothing happens. Okay. So we've kind of designed our app. And now we're going to click on this other screen, the block screen, and, uh, and, and we'll show the code for the app. And, and basically, in the blocks, you show the interactive behavior, right? When I do something, what happens? And in this case, our goal is when I click this button, uh, I want the app to say something. Okay. So I'm going to go to the blocks. And you'll notice you see the text-to-speech component over here, button one, the screen. Um, there's also all these kind of generic coding blocks, with, which we'll use some in a second. Um, but what I want to start off with is go to this button one. There's a bunch of stuff here, but these yellow ones are called event handler blocks. OK, so if I drag out the win button dot click, basically what I'm saying is I'm going to code. I'm going to put inside here whatever I want to happen when that button is clicked. OK, and remember button one, if we go back to the designer, button one is this component right here named button one that has say it on it, right? So I want button one, when I click it, what I want to do is have it, have it say something. So if I click on text-to-speech, these purple blocks are called function call blocks. OK, they make something happen. Um, so I'm going to drag this guy in. And right now, by default, it says hello. But of course, I could type in anything I want here. So I'm, you know, I am a coder is, is what I wanted to say. OK, and this whole thing is called an event handler. Button dot click is the event. And then the function, the response, is to speak out some words. OK, let's go back to the designer. Let's click on preview again. OK, now I'm testing, right? I'm the, I'm the user of the app now. And if I click on the save button, the coder. it's going to say those words, that, words I say. So very quickly, simple app um, we've just built in just, just a few minutes. Now, the nice thing is, you know, you don't just have to use this preview. Um, you can actually get this onto your, um, on iOS or Android. And it, you know, takes a couple minutes. You'll get an email, at least for the iPhone, it takes a couple minutes. You'll get an email and you can install that app on your phone. Um, but you can also just test your app on your phone. And in the next video, I'll show you how there's an app called Thunkable Live. You put that on your iPhone or your Android. And instead of just testing with preview, you can test it with your, with your device. Um, anyway, there's a quick, you know, less than five minute, build your first app, go through the steps, do it, and I'll see you on the other side.